வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஃப்ரம் அசிவகம் யுனைடெட் அண்டர் தமிழ் சிவா நார்மலி அண்ட் இன்வேடர் ரூல்ஸ் நேட்டிவ் த்ரூ ஆர்ம்ஸ் அண்ட் எமினேஷன் அண்ட் வித் யூஜ் ஆர்மி ரிமெம்பர் கேன் இஸ் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆன்டி கிரைஸ் ஆஃப் ஆர் ஆன்டி ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் பர்சன் கமிங் ஆஃப் ஆன்டி கிரைஸ் ரிஃபர்ஸ் டு சில்ட்ரன் ஆஃப் கேன் பர்சன் செட்டில் ஆன் தமிழ் நேஷன் த கொஸ்டின் இயர் இஸ் வாட் வாஸ் த ரீசன் பிஹைண்ட் அஸ் டு வை சில்ட்ரன் ஆஃப் ஆன்டி கிரைஸ் கேன் பர்சன் வித்வுட் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் நேட்டிவ் செட்டில்ட் ஆன் ஈஸிலி ஆன் Tamil Nation remember Mahabharat war took place from Turkey Syria to Indus Valley Rajasthan Gujarat remember after deluge Tamil Nation history starts from Turkey Gopikle Tepe dated back to 13000 BC Mahabharat war took place somewhere in 5500 BC from 13000 BC to 505 5500 BC colony of Tamil Nation spread across the land from Turkey Syria Mesopotamia Baluchistan Harappa civilization Mohenjo-daro civilization rajasthan gujarat and so on tamil colony were highly advanced nation and highly advanced technology knowledge they had every tamil colony was self sufficient mahabharat war was a war among different colony of tamil nation it was an internal war battle of mahabharat was a war between truth versus falsehood mahabharat war reduced the population of tamil colony from these region remember mahabharat war when nuclear bomb were used which reduced the population of tamil colony from those region so when anti christ persian entered indus valley and iranian plateau they faced no resistance from natives anti christ persian who are from kane generation say that the land of tamil is a gift for them from god since anti christ kane children occupied the land of noble tamil they started lab- labeling themselves as aryan arya means noble anti christ persian made policy of varna dharam manu and introduced brahmins brahmin main role is to spy on different colony of tamil nation in india so that anti christ persian can rule tamil colony of india under varna dharam remember tamil colony across india the religion was called asivagam and they lived in golden era due to asivagam principle anti christ persian introduced one eyed system of varna dharam and manu law which degrade women and common people varna dharma principle pushed native into the era of untouchability with their one eyed system brahmins are spy who kept an eye on the ruling class among native so that the rulers of native runs their administration as per one eyed system of varna dharma if any native kings oppose varna dharma then they remove them from power example raja harish chandra some rulers ruled by arms and domination while anti christ persian who are children of kain they are ruling native with their one eyed system of varna dharam in the name of god remember asivagam gives power to people while varna dharam takes away right to administration from common people that is power to people has been taken away since the only race which had no honor or law was generation of incest whose father was kain europe rest of the world had the concept of asivagam siddhar way of life based on creation and balance first siddha tamil shiva shiva the first man to develop the image of god by activating kundalini chakra apart from children of kain rest of the mankind all believe in higher conscious anti christ kain children found it easy to rule other nation in the name of god remember all priestly cult around the world they they will talk about god and moksha and salvation but in reality they are all working on the principle of varna dharam which was introduced by anti christ persian thus principle of varna dharam can be found in all priestly cult tcp pandian and his team are protecting kalyuga the anti christ persian religion of varna dharam prophet moses exodus that took place near nile river crossing red sea in 1440 bc while coming of anti christ children of kain persian at indus valley was around 15000 1500 bc so exodus of children of israel from egypt and coming of anti christ persian from europe to indus valley its timeline is almost same but different location but tcp pandian calling prophet moses as anti christ and founder of mason secret society is itself a proof that he is working for anti christ persian trying to hide their identity plus he is trying to hide the identity of cave people children of kain who were hunter gatherer and civilized race by calling tamil shiva too as hunter gatherer tcp pandian says murgan was first agriculturist 
so he means to say before deluge tamil colony across glo globe who built pyramids are hunter gatherer pyramids built across globe before deluge by tamil shiva pandian dynasty pyramids are used to generate wireless electricity and used for wireless com communication beware tamil tcp pandian fooling his audience with etymology using tamil language to a tool to fool tamil speaking people remember anti christ cain children first batch persian and second batch roman they would pay anyone who can hide their identity with lies they would pay anyone who can fool the black natives of india thus indirectly protects their varnadharam system of one night remember it was varnadharam of settlers that replaced native asivagam after prophet muhammad who united natives and made mecca the new administration center for bani israel of semitic black race seed of david tribe juda moors quran and asivagam reminder Antichrist children of Cain, Roman Persian started their religion with Varnadharam principle under Quran name, and it called it Shia. They kill whole family of Hussein, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad in 680 A.D. A.D. In 8th century, Persian Antichrist started Shia cult. Later, they started Sunni cult in 9th century. In 13th century, they started Sufism, and in 18 to 19th century, they started Wahhabism. Remember, Shia, Sufi, Sunni, Wahhabi are Antichrist, Cain children, cult designed to protect Varnadharam. New World Order, the new name for Varnadharam, now syndicate of global elites, and they want to reduce black population from India, Africa, and America. Quran and Asivagam reminder, Nandri Vanakkam.